that was a water buffalo. Hey, what's going on guys? Old School Matt here, back with another water buffalo training method workout breakdown, guys. Today we're going to be doing a video on arms. So arms is a great body part to do uh, when you're doing them with respect to supersets, and that's what we're going to be doing today, guys. We're going to be talking about supersets, the benefits of them, and we're going to give you guys a superset workout you guys can do with your arms. It should take only about 30 to 40 minutes. shouldn't take any longer than that. Uh, to break down supersets really quick for today's video, we're going to be talking about why supersets are beneficial and what they can be done with, um, what body parts work well with supersets, what don't, and when to use them and when not to use them. So really quick background on a superset. So what's a superset? A superset is being able to perform an exercise back to back. So let's say we're doing a tricep push down and we want to superset it with a bicep curl. That would be considered a superset. A superset might also be a exercise that falls within the same body part. It just depends on what you're doing. Uh, we like to do supersets with opposing muscle groups because it allows to push a lot of blood into that area, allows us to get a better pump in that area. Arms would probably be the number one at the top to be doing opposing muscle supersets for. Um, like I was saying earlier, supersets have a ton of benefits. Some of the benefits could be that it's gonna save you a lot of time. It's gonna keep you burning a lot more calories, gonna keep the rest periods down a lot. And also supersets allow you to engage the muscle in a different type of way. When you're doing arms especially, that's what we're gonna be breaking down today, is an arm superset workout. You get an intense pump in the biceps and triceps. So you know, the biceps are a smaller muscle group and so are the triceps. So allowing your body to pump blood into that one area at a bigger, larger amount will help you not only with performance, but I've helped people coach, I've helped coach people through doing arm supersets for arm growth and it's been incredible. Uh, really maximizes the amount of blood volume that goes into the areas that you're training. And like I said before, doing it with arms is even better because it allows you to focus on a small area, now expanding it to be a bigger area, allowing your body to burn more calories, um, introduce a new stimulus to your workouts, and also introduce a way of training that might help you engage certain muscle groups better. Uh, I like to do biceps and triceps superset on top of my list, but you can also do it with legs, you could do it with chest, you could do it with or chest and back, you can do it with shoulders, hitting different heads of the shoulders. But today, like I said, we're gonna be focusing on arms. So that's a little bit about supersets, guys. Today, we're gonna to get into the workout. So let's, without further ado, let's do it. So we're gonna be starting off this superset workout, guys, by doing a tricep row pushdown. Uh, we did this workout with a friend of ours named Nima. He's part of our team. So you'll be seeing him frequently throughout the video. So as you see me here, I'm doing some tricep pushdowns, guys. I'm getting a nice engagement of the medial head of the tricep. I'm keeping the elbows kind of pushed out to the side. Um, I'm trying to also get that lateral head as well. Uh, it's really important to engage certain parts of the tricep when you're doing you know, different isolation exercises by trying to help uh, push the tricep head back and trying to help you engage certain muscle fibers depending on you know, where your elbow placement is. I'm supersetting this with some incline dumbbell curls, guys. As you see me here, I'm doing a little bit of a pause at the top. I like this exercise because it allows me to focus on the long head of the bicep. So I'm hitting the medial and lateral head of the tricep, and now I'm focusing on the long head of the bicep. Uh, as you see me here, I'm going a little bit heavier. I'm using like 35 pound dumbbells, that's heavy for me. Uh, I'm really trying to focus on the contraction at the top, trying to keep those elbows as tight to my body as I can. As you see here, Nima's doing a variation where he's doing alternating dumbbell curls on an incline as well. As you see him here, he's changing the dumbbells each time he goes. Uh, this can allow you to focus on that, that area a little bit better. It also allows you to you know, get certain aspects of an isolation type of movement when you're doing these curls because you're you know, focusing on one side at a time and you're not worried about you know, moving both at once. Uh, you know, I'm gonna be doing them here again. This is a different variation as well. I'm just hitting, showing you guys from a front angle. I'm actually gonna be doing a drop set on this one. So very, very common with me when I do supersets is that sometimes just doing the try by is not enough. So I'll add in like a drop set at the end of one of those workouts. So if I'm doing like a drop set for like here, I'll do the tricep row push downs for my, you know, however many reps, and then I'll jump in and I'll do the uh, incline curls for however many reps, and then just to add a little bit of blood volume, add a little bit of volume to the training, I'll jump in and do a, uh, you know, a quick little drop set on that last exercise. As you see me doing here, I'm changing up the angles, leaning forward a little bit. Uh, but yeah, you know, that's a solid superset to start the workout out with. You're hitting different parts of each part of the, the arm. Um, you're engaging different parts of the arm. Like I said, we'll be focusing more on the lateral and medial head of the tricep on the rope pushdown and engaging the long head of the bicep on the incline curl. 
Okay guys, so from here we're gonna go and jump into our superset number two. We're gonna be doing a skull crusher guys, and then we're gonna be supersetting that with a incline um, or a preacher curl, but it's a different type of preacher curl. So as you see me doing here, I'm doing the um, tricep uh, barbell skull crusher. I'm using an easy bar because I like to have that closer grip and it's a little bit easier on my wrist because it allows my wrist to be twisted a little bit. This is gonna be focusing on, again, the lateral head of the tricep. Uh, it's also going to be focusing on a little bit of the long head, depending on how much you're going to be keeping your elbows tight and bringing it behind your head. As you see Nima here, he's doing his set two. Uh, I like hitting this exercise, you know, typically a little bit heavier. So I'll usually go heavier on like a free weight exercise when it comes to arms and I'll go a little bit lighter on isolation movements just because it allows me to really get that threshold stimulus of that negative portion of the movement. Um, as you see me here, or as you see Nima here, he was hitting that, you know, pretty good, pretty good reps there. So. We're gonna switch into the uh, Zotman Preacher, Zotman Reverse Preacher Curl. It's a weird exercise, but it's a fantastic exercise. So as you see me doing here, I'm coming up as a hammer curl, and I'm coming down as a regular curl, coming up as a hammer curl, coming down as a regular curl. It's changing depending on uh, which part of the movement I'm doing. As you see here, I'm leaning over a Preacher Curl bench. I'm curling up, changing the, motion, the, movement, the movement of the arm, and this will allow me to hit the bicep, uh, the short head of the bicep, but as, long, as well as the brachialis. So a great exercise, guys, a great way to superset try and buy. You're hitting all heads of the bicep and you're hitting some of the tricep with the skull crusher. Okay, guys, so we're gonna be switching into superset number three here. So we're gonna be starting off with a cable curl in between the leg. This is gonna be focusing on the short head of the bicep here, keeping our elbows out in front of our body, uh, really isolating the bicep as best as we can, really trying to keep those elbows tight in front of us. Uh, we're only gonna be moving forward. We're not gonna be moving backwards at all. Like I said, hitting the short head of the bicep kind of mimicking a, uh, a cable lying down cable curl as well. Uh, we're gonna be supersetting this with guys, one arm over the head, uh, tricep extensions, or one arm French presses, whatever you wanna call it. Um, this is gonna focus solely on the long head of the tricep. Not gonna be a lot of engagement at the top, gonna be really focusing on that negative portion. So when we get behind the head here, we're gonna be getting that nice stretch on the tricep, feeling the tricep engage as much as we possibly can. Um, and then switching arms, obviously, we're gonna be isolating it by each arm. Uh, really trying to get a nice elongation of the tricep on the way down and not really focusing on the top. Uh, we're going to be really pushing forward on each of these arms, so we're going to go heavier on each one. And uh, another way that I like to incorporate supersets too is definitely to add isolation movements when doing so. Okay, next guys, we're going to be jumping into our last superset. It's going to be a close grip bench press, and then we're going to superset that with alternating dumbbell curls. So the close grip bench press, we're going to be hitting the um, lateral head of the tricep, but as well as a little bit of the media, medial, a little bit of the long head. Close grip bench press really incorporates a lot of the triceps since we're you know pushing a lot of weight. We're gonna do anywhere from 10 to 12 reps here, and then we're gonna switch into some alternating dumbbell curls. We're gonna go heavy on this one, guys. I know it's our last exercise, so it's gonna be hard to go heavy, but I really recommend you guys go heavy on this exercise because you're gonna be hitting some of the wrist, uh, the forearm, uh, the wrist flexor, the, the forearm uh, wrist flexors as well the muscles up here and coming onto your your uh, your wrist area and really trying to get that, you know, that veiny forearm going. We're gonna be swishing each arm, we're gonna be curling each arm, it's gonna be heavy, so we're gonna go using a lot of that progressive overload here, really trying to push past those pain barriers and, you know, just kind of curl away. It's gonna be doing uh, a lot of volume on this one as well. We're gonna be trying to get 15 reps on the close grip bench and then 20 reps, so 10 reps in total on the alternating curls. Remember, to go heavy on that exercise. All right, guys, so that is the superset workout for today. That's going to be arms. It's going to be the workout breakout breakdown for this week. We're going to be breaking. We broke down supersets. So supersets are a great way to incorporate different types of training styles into your workouts. It's a great way to, you know, get a quick workout in if you have to. It's also a great way to incorporate different types of stimulus to your workouts. You can switch the angles. You can um, really try to introduce new uh, methods into training by doing supersets. You can get super creative with them. And also I found in my personal experience that when you do opposing muscle supersets, opposing muscle group supersets like chest and back or different heads of the shoulder or bicep tricep or quad hamstring, you really get a better pump in the opposite area. So if I'm doing bicep curls and I go and I do tricep pushdowns, I feel like it opens up the fascia of the muscle there and it allows me to have more blood in that area readily available. 
uh, because of the muscle, the, the area that's being pumped up is larger. You know, if you're just doing a bicep versus just doing a tricep, if you combine them together, the area of the muscle group is gonna be a lot you know, larger. So there's gonna be more blood there to begin with. So when you switch back over to that beginning exercise, so if you're doing biceps, there's gonna be more blood in there from the triceps. So it's gonna rush over to the biceps, giving you a better pump. Don't believe me, sounds like bro science. Try it out, look it up. When people try to engage the muscle group that they're working, they always do a warm up set with an antagonizing muscle group because it allows them to be more open. It allows more of the tissue to be you know, expanded and allows more for a better, um, more strategical way to engage these muscle groups. Try it out, try opposing muscle group supersets, try supersets with your regular workouts. So change the workout based off of uh, what you wanna do. Uh, supersets are a great way, like I said before, and like I was saying, to burn calories, keep the time limit really, really tight, introduce new stimulus. Also supersets are great because they allow you to focus in on a aspect of your training that you haven't done recently because not everyone does supersets every workout. And lastly, they give you a crazy pump. So I hope you guys are enjoying the exercise or the workout breakdown videos. I hope you guys are enjoying these exercises. Remember today, 16 sets in total, four sets on each superset, anywhere from eight to 15 reps on each exercise, all up to you, however you wanna train them. Let's continue to keep getting better, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this workout breakdown video and I hope you guys are enjoying the content on this channel. Take care and peace. Shout out to Nima for also hitting that workout with me. It was an incredible pump and we had a good day. Peace.